Right, this time I am showing you the leg extension. Now, you see this in every single gym. A lot of people don't know exactly what it's for or how to use it. So I'm just gonna break that down for you. You're gonna always have to adjust your seat and you're gonna have to adjust the foot pad. Now, how you adjust these is gonna be different on every single machine, but there is gonna be adjustments on them. So for me, on mine, it's just a twist and I've got to twist it back and I can put my seat right out or I can put my seat right in. So seat height is gonna be really important. So I think that's gonna be right for me there. And then on mine, the foot pad, Got a little pull handle and we can go up or down stiff depending on leg length you're always going to have your legs under first and then yeah so i'm instantly too far forward because you want to be right in the crease and my bum feels like i'm about to come off so i need to go back so now i can feel that i am fitting in here perfectly it's right you've got to set it up for your female length that's what you're thinking about is the length of your quadriceps um, and making sure that the seat comes right into the crease and making sure that you can put the bottom of your back flat against the pad give your whole back against it and I'm in a full relaxed position here now pad height this can be preference there's not really a right way or a wrong way to do it if you're comfortable um, the higher up it's going to be the shorter the lever the easier it's going to be the lower it is the harder it's going to be now this one's a pretty firm pad, so it's not the comfiest, so I like to be, and most people when you see them, are always perfectly in the crease here. So, holding on, you're going to focus on breathing out on the way up. Squeeze your legs tight at the top, full contraction, down slow, breathing in. So breathing is going to really help you to help dissipate the lactic acid you're going to build up, help you push through, so focus, breathe out, squeeze, Breathe in, down slow. Always think about one second up, that's your concentric phase of the movement. One second isometric squeeze, two to three seconds on the way down. Now why we do that is, the way up and the squeeze isn't as beneficial as the eccentric phase or the negative phase of the movement. On the way back down, that's when you're burning more calories, creating more tension within those muscles, getting more benefit out of it. We make the way down a lot longer than the way up. This will isolate your quads and focus burning right here. All the girls always say they're like, oh, I don't want to build big legs. You're not going to build big legs unless you're in a calorie surplus. If you're in a calorie deficit on here, you will feel like you're building muscles, but you're not. It's just you starting to feel muscles that you've probably not used before. A couple of points you want to think about. Always make a full extension. Some people come here, you do half reps. Now you're still going to feel your half reps, but you want to focus on Full exhale, lock them legs straight up at the top. Squeeze tight at the top. You're getting that isometric contraction in and down slow. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. You can alter where it's gonna work the majority um, by foot position, by leg position. So if I was to bring my legs closer in and feet closer in and go, I'm gonna feel that more here. You can see straight away the difference. And this is only applies really if you are lean enough to be able to see. Then if I was to go wider and put my heels in and toes out, you'll be able to see that you work chicken fillets here a little bit more. What you want to think about is not overdoing it in one variation. So if I just hit leg extension every time and I heels in, toes out, I'm gonna see an imbalance within my legs. There's not a right way or a wrong way. Um, most people just come on and go straight foot, straight legs, and you'll work the whole of your legs. But um, if you want to really fine tune where you can hit, what you can target on doing, play around with your foot position, play around with the width of your legs, play around with toes in, toes out, toes pointing up. Get to know your body, get to know what you like, get to know what parts that you're weaker at. But um, hopefully, after that little explanation, you would feel comfortable to go into your gym onto the leg extension and understand how to use it. Understand what muscles you're gonna be working, what it's supposed to feel like, that burn and that build up. The main thing is feel comfortable, not feel stupid getting on a machine that you don't know what you're doing. I wanna make sure that you can all understand everything. That'll do.